Are you looking for suggestions on getting an entry-level IT job? Well, let me give you some suggestions. I have a bunch of videos that are going to specifically prepare you for that. So what's the newest or what's the best entry-level job you can get right now in IT? That would be Help Desk. So let's go down the list or my playlist for Help Desk videos and I will tell you exactly why you need to learn this stuff so you can do the job. All right, let's get to it. Before we begin, please take a moment to say hi, hello, or present. It's sort of like a roll call in the class. That way I know you're present and you're interested in this type of content in the comments below. Thank you so much and let's get back to the video. Now, believe it or not, the first thing you actually might want to learn when it comes to help desk is ticketing system. Uh, ticketing systems can be learned by using specific ticketing systems. And the reason I say that is because those specific ticketing systems will give you a general idea of how all ticketing systems work. So in this situation, you can simply use the ticketing system that I show you how to use, which is the representation of this first video. As you can see, first video in the list is learning IT ticketing system for tier one help desk. In this example, I'm using Jira but any ticketing system will give you a general idea of how to use it and they all generally function the same. There are tons of them and even like in-house or specific to that company will be very similar to even this one. So just because I'm using Jira doesn't mean that the other ones won't be relevant. It's essentially all the same in my opinion. So for that reason, this playlist is actually called Learning Ticketing System. In this playlist, I will show you from the beginning to an end on how to not just navigate this ticketing system, but to also how to note it, how to use it, how to contact the customers, and how to solve a lot of these help desk issues. And I dare say you become even better than most of the help desk that I've encountered. Now, I have a lot of videos on help desk and troubleshooting basic stuff. As you can see by this list here, help desk guides I have 108 videos this is a massive list of things and I don't want you to be intimidated by it but I just want you to kind of go through and kind of practice if you can and play along with the instructions that I give you in the videos themselves this is not complicated stuff it's just so it happens that there is a lot of it so learning all of these things may take time but it's not difficult at all and my style of teaching this type of stuff is very easy to follow and of course you may have noticed that my recent video here is top 40 help desk interview questions and answers of course i help you with the interview as well so the in the end when it comes down to it you just have to spend some time to learn this type of stuff and once you're ready go over the interview questions and then just make you know this will increase your chances of getting that job so what about the resume well i have a video on that let's take a look so if i go to my channel and just search resume here it is the very first thing is a round to make a resume i got my job using this resume for help desk and desktop support the video right underneath it you can see here that it says how to write a resume for IT desktop support network admin and system admin when it comes down to it it's kind of the same deal for IT right learn how to write a resume for IT positions other playlist that I would suggest for help desk is learning office 365 I have a whole series on this as you can see here and of course if any questions about it come up during an interview i have answers for that well not for all questions because you don't know what kind of questions may be asked but either way I'm, i have plenty of videos that will teach you basic office 365 that is required for a lot of these office 365 or office a lot of these help desk jobs all right and i know there is a lot to go over but you know keep in mind that these are some of the things you just have to kind of study in order to get a job i mean it's not something that just happens on its own you got to work for it you got to spend time learning this type of stuff so that way you earn it and then after that if you don't like doing help desk you can move on to something else you know all right so what are some of the other things you have to remember to do once you find a job that you like make sure it's a job that you can do 
once you know that you can do this job based on things that you've learned, then you apply for it. Don't apply for a job that you cannot do. You're just wasting your time and somebody else's time as well. Once you apply for those jobs, uh, make sure that your resume is tailored specifically to that job. That means modify your resume so it mentions all the required experiences in the description. Again, make sure this is some. these are the things that you know how to do. Second, make sure that you always put in a cover letter. This just means it's an extra effort that you're very serious about the job. It's just to kind of sell yourself. I think I have a video on cover letters somewhere. So do the same thing I did before. Go to youtube.com forward slash Cobleman and do a search like I showed you earlier and just search for a cover letter. But when it comes down to it, it's just a letter or like an email, if you will, that basically tells them why you need this type of job. Say, I have this specific experience for this job and therefore I think I would be a good good choice for this job. Something like that that will just basically let them know in a simple and to the point way that you are the person that can do this, right? Aside from that, if you want to get like a certification like A+, that's also A+, pun intended, and I have a playlist for that. So these are some of the videos uh, into intros to the videos of how to study for CompTIA practice test and what to kind of expect in these type of uh, certification studies or exams. So if you want to get one of these certificates, this is a good place to start and uh, it will at least give you an idea on how to get these type of certifications which will help you get these jobs. But then again, for help desk, you don't necessarily, you're not necessarily required to have a certificate. Um, the, a lot of these jobs, especially when they're uh, in, in demand, or I should say when they're available a lot, which is nowadays, they will uh, train you on how to do these jobs specifically as well. Mostly they're going to train you on how to navigate the system, how to use the ticketing system and their company rules. But you are required to know basic knowledge, which is something you can go through in my help desk videos. And I believe that that covers it. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments or if you have any questions. If you want me to find a specific video for you, let me know also in the comments and I will gladly let you know. I wish you best of luck. Make sure you're not lazy and you study for these type of jobs. It's, you got to make an effort to get these jobs. That simple as that. All right. Take care and I wish you best of luck. Bye bye.